With the awesome No Man's Sky Fractal update, it thought it was about time that we covered No Man's Sky with a best settings guide on Steam Deck. So I'm going to take you through a range of settings here to see which ones will be best for you and my recommended settings overall. This game performs really well on the Steam Deck, so it really is more of a preference. But let's kick things off with the enhanced version with no frame cap. Going above enhanced is not recommended because of the draw on your battery and the frames per second here. But as you can see, enhanced does look absolutely gorgeous. There's quite a difference in the amount of quality between enhanced and standard. Enhanced really does pop on the Steam Deck screen fantastically well. However, it does struggle to hold over 40 frames per second solidly and the power wattage does creep up into the 26 and 27 watt range, meaning you're probably only going to get around an hour and a half battery at max. Not to mention, it does make the deck very hot and quite noisy as well. As you can see in some of the landing sequences, especially on some of the foggier planets, we even dip down into the 20 frames per second occasionally in those loading spikes and close to that 30 frames per second mark rather than the 40. So uncapped on enhanced is really a mixed bag. You're not going to get 60 frames per second. If you do want to stick with the enhanced settings, I would say to cap this at 30 frames per second if you can handle 30 fps these days moving over to standard uncapped this still looks absolutely phenomenal and will get you 60 frames per second most of the time i was actually quite surprised at how well this held 60 frames per second even with the flying in and out of the atmosphere and during the loading sequences of course we get these loading spikes when we do landing and entering and exiting planets but it's very brief although it drops below 50 frames per second it's very very quick but that wattage still sits into the 26 and 28 mark and it still looks phenomenal but the wattage is still a little bit high for my liking so standard uncapped is definitely a great way to go if you want to push 60 frames per second most of the time but if you want to extend that battery life then it will be our recommended settings which is to put this onto max fps of 40 in game with triple buffered v-sync standard graphics preset no need to tweak this any further and turn the motion blur off if you don't like it like I do, with anti-aliasing off as well. And on the Steam Deck, cap this at 40 hertz, and you'll notice a huge difference in that wattage. Now moving around, even in the Nexus, it holds a pretty solid 40 frames per second. We do get a couple of loading spikes here and there. It still looks absolutely gorgeous on the Steam Deck, but now our wattage sits under 14 watts for the majority of the time. Now it does go over that 14 up to around 16 watts on occasion, depending on what we're doing and what planet we're on, but it's nowhere near as high as on the other settings or uncapped settings, meaning you're gonna get much closer to two to three hours game time on this rather than an hour to an hour and a half. And you have to admit, even in space, this performs fantastically well. Spent a long time mining on this one because I love the look of the solar as well. If you didn't manage to get your Twitch drops, then good luck with your ship hunting. But even transitioning into planets, it holds that 40 frames per second solid. And on the landing sequences, although we do dip under 30 frames per second briefly, it is extremely brief and still looks and performs absolutely fantastic. So now you can see on the planet, we are pushing close to that 16 watt mark, but again, it does dip down as we start moving around and the cache kicks in. Let us know in the comments below which settings you're gonna be running under No Man's Sky and how many hours you've been playing this. The Fractal update just brings so much more to this game. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.